Hey guys, we're back for another video. <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing Polly Young wigs. Actually, one of them is the Jacqueline Smith wig, but we got it from Polly Young. Now, I've never worn wigs, um, but I've always threatened to shave my head. And <laughs> so I can just wear wigs and not have to worry about fixing my hair, although my hair is pretty easy. I haven't done anything with it. I just washed it, towel dried it, and this is how it turns out. I usually put some kind of wax texture, but I, my hair is really agreeable. But there's days I have fine hair. I'd like to have long hair, but it's fine, and, um, and I just can't do that. But we've got... Um, and, You've you've got some wigs. You've worn wigs before. I have. Okay. But not Polly Young. Not Polly Young. It was by a company that was in Italy. Okay. And they were called Baby Extensions. Okay. And they were very, they were very long wigs, mm -hmm. like at least mid back to okay, something like that. And um they were really good quality. So. Well, Paul Young is supposed to be really good. They have a lot of customers, really huge following. We have a long one and kind of a short one, like a bob, kind of like maybe like what my hairstyle is, sort of. Um, this one right here is um, Gale. The color is uh, 62723F, which I believe is autumn blend or something like that. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while. I bought these a while ago and I just have not taken them out of the box. I've just been waiting for the right moment to try them. And so today's the day. So let's open this, this first one. This is how it comes packaged nicely. And it actually, I think, did, it was in a net. I think I did. I had, Maybe I am lying. Maybe I did open it, but I just haven't tried them on. Anyway. And whenever you buy a Polly Young wig, of course, it's been over 30 days or 60 days, whatever the policy is. Um, you have to keep the tag on it when you try it. Like once you take the tag off, here we go, the exchange Exchange within 60 days if uh, the replacement items you ship free. You can get a refund within 30 days, excluding shipping and processing fees. And uh, clearance items are final sale. But anyway, if you're not sure you want it, don't cut the tag off. And from other videos that I've watched, wig videos, you're supposed to take it out and turn it upside down give it a good woo <laughs> give it a, a zhuzh let it kind of you know kind of get it loose shake it all out man it looks so pretty see i see i'd love see this is the kind of hair i'd love to have that's why i got this wig but of course one of the reasons i've been hesitant is i'm hot natured I mean, I'm heat intolerant, and I just, these wigs are supposed to be cool, though. So hopefully uh, it will be. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I've got a cap. Yeah, I had purchased a velvet grip in brown. It's like a headband. Figured that'd be better than trying to put on a whole cap. So, do you no, want to try it on first? Maybe. You want me to go first? Well, I have long hair. I mean, well, that's true, but you can so, still. Actually, I just cut my hair. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks shorter. I cut six inches off of it, so I'm used to having long hair. To put that back a little more, just kind of gauge it. And I get headaches easy too. That's another factor in not 
being sure if I could really wear wigs for any length of time, but you're supposed to flip your head over and space to do that, so. Let's see. Here goes nothing. Let me. <laughs> there have to be tabs, and I do. There, there are tabs. So <laughs> well, the thing is with wigs is you really that is your hair right in here. My hair's not that long. Well, it's poking out right there. Oh well, maybe in the very back. Can't tell. That's. And all these other videos that people, and you have to kind of really zhuzh it and play with it, so they say for it to really. I don't know. When everybody else, when I see videos other women do with the wigs, it just looks beautiful. And on me, I feel like it's, I'm ready to go to a Halloween costume party. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like, I mean, I don't think I, nothing, and I don't know if it's the wig or if just me, that wigs just don't look good on me. And again, I know that uh, some women that they, you know, they cut, they tweak, they do the bangs, that they thin out some of the top sometimes. It's hard to see, but, um, I mean, I love the curls and everything. I think it's really pretty, but it just, I, it would probably grow on me. I think like with anything, you'd have to get used to it. And if it was styled a little bit, the bangs fix some because it looks like it's, you know, just needs to be, would need to be trimmed or even just, oh, that doesn't look good. You can see the band. I don't know. It's not for me, and I had a feeling it wouldn't be, but I wanted to try it. I'd love to have long hair, maybe. I just need to, no, let's see. That makes me look like I have a mullet doing it like that. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that doesn't look good on me, so it's your turn. No, I'm good. And you might can play with it before you put it on. I um, don't think so. It's just something that, yeah, see, some of that probably was my hair. Yeah. Um, the thing is, this is one of the things that's like I really want to be able to wear a wig, but I just don't think it's for me. And I hate that because I'd love to be able to just throw a wig on. It just needs, I think it, it definitely has potential. It just, the top maybe needs to be thinned out because a lot of wigs are just too thick on the top. Wow. Wow. Um, um, I know in the picture, I mean, it's just gorgeous. The color, I really this like the color. Is not my thing. I don't like, yeah. I don't like bangs. No, well, it's not that I don't like bangs. I just don't, yeah, if you want to make it flatter here. Flatter well, that's a, a lot of women have to go in anymore. or even go to their hairstylist. Some people do go take their wigs that they're, they're really serious about, that they have them thin it out a little bit on top because some of them do how much, you know, they'll have that permatease. It definitely has that permatease, which makes it really thick on the top. But um, it definitely has potential. I love the color. I love the curls. But it's just, uh, it just doesn't look right on me, which I really hate. But um, again, maybe with some playing, I might play with it, try to thin it out. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably end up giving it to somebody that, that wears wigs and they look well on them. I mean, it definitely looked that bad. I mean, just again. Looks better on you than me, I think, but that's, you know. 
Well, the next wig we have, you can leave yours on if you want, is um, Jacqueline Smith. It is not this, that's not the wig, that's just the design on the box. It has it on both sides. It's a Venice Vibes style A0071, and the color is 827 number four, size A, average. I don't remember what the color was exactly. You can look it up. I don't remember what the name of the color is. And I didn't, they don't have a number for the gale. I think the gale might be discontinued. They don't have the number on that, but... Okay, let's open this one and see what we got going. Okay, the packaging is it's all really nice. Again, the same with this one. You don't take the tag off unless you're sure. And again, you have that certain time frame to return it or exchange it. And I'm way past that. I bought this a long time ago. A few months ago. And they always come with in this hair net, which you could use on your head to keep your hair in, but it's just kind of hard to handle and deal with. Let's see. And it does come with a disposable. like it, you know, to use because they want you to definitely cover your hair. This is like a head cover. Like if you think you, you're not sure you want to keep it, they want you to use a head covering so you won't have your hairs in it if you return it. Okay, Venice Vibes. I love the color and the style. It's like longer in the front, shorter at the back. Mm -hmm. I gave Emma that. That's right. Exact that's exactly character. right. That's it. Yep, that's it. And um, see the it's darker. I, and see, I love the design because it's um, oh, rooted. Right. It's rooted. It's got the dark and the so it's more realistic looking. It looks like real hair. So I don't even think I have to give it a. I look like. Oh, you know who you look like, you know, on, um, <laughs> no, I don't tell me on, uh, I look like on from the married, the, Magnolia, the oh. married, with children. Yeah. That lady, except it was red hair, <laughs> like really big, full. Also feel like I stepped off the, you know, the still Magnolias. Uh, I was about to say Dolly yeah. Parton or something. And still Mag Parton. Yeah. Yeah, because she wears the big hair. And again, I mean, it doesn't look that big in the picture. The model is just... They always have it styled so perfectly. And again, not to say that this couldn't look like what it looks like in the picture, but it would take a little work. In most wigs, that's usually the case. Okay, Jacqueline Smith, Venice Vibes. Let's see. And I didn't show the inside. Again, um an amateur but I know most wig videos they're showing the inside that it has the this kind of a cap where it can you can breathe your head can breathe it's got the adjust these are the adjustable straps it's velcro which is nice it has the tabs that you can adjust it at each of your you know at your ears you can kind of center it and everything okay let me make sure I'm getting it right. That's the back. Okay, and that's the front. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot I was being recorded for a moment. Enjoy. <laughs> I just have these little outbursts sometimes, so now you know. <laughs> I have to take this wig off. I just have to. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I think my head's too big. And that's the thing, as you know. Well, they have the different, um, this is an average. 
me see. Oh, you're the next beetle. Well, you have to <laughs> let me see the grain. I can't see the grain because of all the hair, but um, it's one of those that I think you have to do to the side. Oh, yeah. See, I can never get a wig. Well, now this one's cute. I mean, it really is, and I think with, again, with playing with it, I mean, the design, again, some of them come out with, like, box. It's just too hard to stay in place. It's, I didn't turn around on the other wig. See what it looks like. Does that look good in the back? Yeah. Well. Well, other than the tag, what? Well, all of this is your hair. Oh, well, pretty. Well, see, I need. I really need to, I guess, get it up. And uh, well, that's not going to be a good showing, but I really do need like a hair thing. But it just, this is a cute wig. I don't know. There's got to be different ways. I think I've seen women that have, like, have barrettes or something but that I don't think that would look right that maybe I just have the right the wrong ratio of hair maybe it needs to be this way it just the wigs I mean I have tried on a couple wigs before and returned them and it's just because I just yeah They require too much work. I mean, it's if you're a wig wearer, and I know there's a number of reasons people wear wigs. Some because they have cancer and their hair's falling out. Some just for the simple ease of throwing a wig on. And others just for the fun of being able to change your hair color every day or style. But um, I don't think it's for me. It's a cute, it just, it needs some, some tweaking for sure. Because that's too much hair in the front. Mm -hmm. Give, a, oh, give it a little right. try. Go ahead and take this off. And Paula Young has good wigs, and I know there's a lot of good reviews, but it just, uh, for me, they just don't work. And, I'm, and again, like I say, I, it disappoints me that that they don't look right on me. And maybe I just haven't given it enough of a chance. I know a lot of people say you have to give it a chance and let it grow on you and work with it and everything. Okay, cool. Let's go out. Okay. <laughs> it looks better. See, it's staying more. And maybe I it doesn't fit. My maybe it ponytail holder yeah. has it caught in the back. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you should have tucked that up in the wig. Well, nobody can see the back. Oh, well. This is just, I mean, if I were going to be wearing it, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, if you'd like to see the back. Let me see the back. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a cute wig, and of course, it looks gorgeous on Jacqueline Smith in the picture and any of the other models that wear it, but... Um, With work, it's a gorgeous wig. I, it just, wigs don't look right on me, unfortunately. I wanted to give these a try, though, and see. But the verdict's the same as the other ones, I just for whatever reason. And again, I think I'd be, even though it has the cooling cap and it's supposed to be able to breathe and everything, I get hot so easy. I don't think I could wear them, even if they look absolutely perfect on me. Um, I think I'd just be too hot. But I know a lot of women out there do wear them, and, and these aren't, cute wigs and with you know a little bit of work I mean they would look as good as they are in the pictures in the mag in the Polly Young magazine just listening <laughs> and so some of them see it like that over there's kind of when it comes out of the box you know some of them may have the you know be turned one yeah, way and you have so to really like, kind of is... work with it um but yeah because it doesn't always come out of the box looking like it does in the picture but anyway, 
Well, we had fun trying it on. I hope you had fun watching. And we will have another video coming out for you soon. And I'll have uh, the links to these um, wigs in the description box for your convenience if you want to check them out. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends who you think you might enjoy this. Take care. God bless. We'll see you soon.